Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Sunday, and I'm getting ready for church, and um, got ready a little bit early, so I thought I would uh, do this little intro for a video that I actually did a few days ago. Um, and I had had a request, a special request, from my friend Mary over at My Simple Cottage Life. If I know some of you are on my channel because you were are subscribers to her, but if you haven't checked her channel out, please do. You will love it. Um, she's a fellow Texan like me, and she lives in the cutest little um, cottage in East Texas, and she has a bunch of uh, kitty cats and a couple of dogs and lots of birds that come to her yard and just a beautiful, beautiful garden that she's created and you know she's kind of like me that a garden is just a an ever-changing thing and so I love watching her channel and she had specifically requested a garden tour um, and so this uh, is for her but I hope everybody else that watches it also enjoys it um, as every gardener i'm still just it's a learn as you go thing so i have some successes and i have some failures and i'm showing you you know pretty much everything i got going on here um today like i said it's several days after the video that you're gonna see um but everything looks pretty similar just the grass has kind of grown back up we had just had it mowed so everything looked pretty um so that's why i thought i would go ahead and, and film that uh, for her and for all of the rest of you. So I'm sitting out here this morning enjoying this beautiful day. It's very nice under, I have a covered patio here and it's nice under here. It's not too hot. It will get hot later on today, but right now it's not too bad. And um, I hope you enjoy this little tour. So we're gonna start here at my patio and this is my swing have it up here so that the wind doesn't blow it over and this works perfectly it has not blown over for the several years that we've had it in that spot anytime I tried to put it out in the yard though if we had a storm it would blow over these are um, these three actually these four here are some herbs and things the square pot is stevia and it is not coming up I did seeds so I don't know if it's too hot for it not really sure so if it doesn't come up this time I will try again but nothing's coming up so far I planted those about a month ago so I'm not feeling like really confident that it's gonna come up and then I have some lavender some uh, pineapple mint and parsley and then this is some sage here and then this is just a piece of an ivy that I had inside right here and I just took some of the runners from it and they have they I put them in water and they got some really good um, really good roots and I put them in this pot and we're seeing what if anything it's gonna do it's still alive and um, it really hasn't gotten any new leaves oh well maybe Maybe that's what this is going to be. So we'll see if it ends up filling out. And then this was an old fountain that I have. I need to get it a new, um, a new little pump motor thing. So that's what that top thing is. And then that's a wood burning stove in case if electricity went out and we needed something. At least we've got that. And then this is my little sitting area to have coffee, lunch, things like that. And then it's my chicken fan. <laughs> when we cleaned out my mom's house, she had several of these, so um, I took one of them. And it puts out a pretty good little breeze there. I need to replace, this was bags of water with pennies in them that we're supposed to ward off flies and things, and I need to replace that. Um, they got pretty tore up over the winter. Okay, and then this is, um, 
it's, it gets these beautiful, this is my wisteria, and it gets beautiful purple blooms. I did see one purple bloom yesterday, but I don't see it now. Uh, but it blooms in the spring, early spring. And my husband cut it back a little yesterday because it was really taken over. He's still kind of working on it. And he was also uh, taking down some of these broken lights for me, but he didn't quite get finished. So he's gonna work on that some more this weekend. Okay, and then this is a strawberry plant. And don't know if I've got any strawberries on it right now. Yep, there's one. They're not doing real good. I get these little bitty strawberries and they don't really do much after that. I've had a few that got bigger. It looks like something got this one. And I do know that I've got a baby bunny out here. I saw it yesterday. And it actually ran from, <laughs> I saw him hopping from right here and he hopped over here and then he hopped into that uh, Sultan's cap there and Josie lately she's been coming out here and she never goes in that flower bed but she's been going straight to that and looking in there she doesn't go back off into there she just stands there and stares and I know that's what it is she knows that bunny is there okay and some of the stuff y'all y'all know the names of some of these and I forget what some of them are like that, the, my, the name just went right out of my, hostas, these are hostas. And I planted them last year and we're gonna see if they'll do anything. They stayed alive for a year, so that's good. They like the shade. And then that's a little fountain I got at a garage sale and it works, it's just turned off right now, but it's really pretty, it has a little light in it. And then uh, that little angel is something that when we moved my mom out of her house, she had a bunch of things like that, so. I took that, and then this little stone here was something that belonged to my in-laws. It just says, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I would given that to my mother-in-law, and so when we moved her out of her apartment, I took that for here. And then I just like this little sign, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower. I like roses, but I just don't have them in my yard because I don't like the thorns. <laughs> and my geraniums are doing pretty good. I do need to pick off the dead part, but you can see I'm getting new blooms. And that one looks pretty good. And then this is citronella. It's supposed to be help uh, keep the mosquitoes away. I have to say, it's not working too well. I still have a mosquito issue. And this is my little wood ferns. I just got these earlier in the spring. And I've tried to make this spot here really shady. I've got this umbrella here. Uh, Cause I know that, I don't know about the citronella, but I know for sure wood ferns and these caladiums, they want it to be shady. So I put that umbrella there. And then here are some banana peppers. And I've been getting quite a few peppers off of this plant. There's one. Got another one down here. That one really needs to be picked. That one is really big. Okay, so I got three. There's a fourth one. So I got four on this plant right now. And I got this um, butterfly at an estate sale for, I think it was either $2 or $3, I think. And it's just this big plastic butterfly. <laughs> So I just hung him up there. And then there's the Sultan's cap. It started as one little plant and it really spreads. So if you're looking for something that would be a good, like a background in your uh, flower bed that you really have to do nothing to, because this thing just comes back every year, it's beautiful. And it blooms all spring, all summer. I can't remember if it blooms into the fall but hummingbirds love it, bees love it, butterflies love it, and you have to do nothing to it. So I really like it. And this is one of my little fairy gardens here. And then over here, I just have another pepper plant. 
don't see anything on this one. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything on that one. And this is not doing very well. This is a squash. Something, you know, I, I'm wondering if it's got some insect problems there, it looks like. This one's doing okay right now, but I haven't gotten any squash off of it. But you can see there's blooms. But I just don't know if it likes that spot very well. Um, this is just some stuff I was using yesterday. I'm going to clean that up today. Here's my other strawberry plant. And I've gotten quite a few strawberries off of here. The problem is I don't get like a bunch all at one time. And now that I know this little bunny is living over here, I'm kind of wondering if he's getting some of these. But he's welcome to them. He's just so cute. He was little. Big enough that you could tell that he was on his own now, but he was very small, very cute. And this is a shrub thing that I just planted. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because it's early out here and I'm not trying to wake people up, but um, it's really a pretty bloom. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a geranium, but it's not. I don't remember what that's called, but it's supposed to be a perennial. This is Lantana. And there's my peach tree. It's doing pretty good. And then we moved our bench. I need to replace the wood slats in this, but for now, um, we just moved it over here. And then that is a trumpet vine. It has not bloomed, so I'm not sure what is going on with that. I would think that should have bloomed already. So we'll see. And then there at the back, those are my sunflowers. So I'll kind of back up and let you see a whole view of the garden. So this fenced in area is food, <laughs> which I'm not real good at growing everything, but I'm trying. There's just another view of that little path we just came down to get out here. My grass is doing better this year. Okay, so this is my blackberry plant. I have two bushes here, and they're doing okay. I did not get a lot of blackberries. I think I just didn't pick them soon enough. I was waiting for them to turn black. They were kind of orangey, and I didn't pick them, and I was waiting for them to turn black, and I think birds got them. So I'll know next time. Go ahead and pick them. All right, here's my sunflowers. And I just threw three different kinds of sunflower seeds out here. And you can see they're popping up. So I put that little sign there to help me remember that sunflowers. This is my watermelon. So I planted two watermelon plants. And they have really taken off in this wheelbarrow. So I've got some blooms. We'll see if I get any actual watermelons. So I'm excited to try them. They are um, icebox watermelons. That's what it says, icebox watermelon. And that's what I did for both plants. They're both the same. And then these are some beans. Um, let's see, it says Blue Lake Bush Beans. And those I planted from seed. And they're starting to come up again. I don't know if it's too hot for them to produce anything. This is all just me trial and error here. This is a cucumber plant. These are both cucumbers. That one's not as happy. This one has been loving this spot. And I know there's a cucumber on it. I saw it yesterday down here somewhere, but I've already gotten three cucumbers off of this plant. I don't see it right now. And I'm trying to train it to grow up this trellis, there it is. Oh, it's got something that's trying to get it. So I'm gonna have to spray some neem oil on there because you can see something enjoying my cucumber. Leave my cucumber alone. <laughs> and then this is this tomato plant, y'all. I'm just gonna tell you, if you ever see these at Lowe's, get them. This thing, it makes black tomatoes. 
and I have gotten, you can see how many I still need to pick. I have gotten so many tomatoes off of this plant. This is one plant. Let me show y'all how big that is. That's one plant. And I've gotten so many tomatoes off of that, we can't even keep up with them. And they're like a little, the size of a cherry tomato. Now that was spinach and I just kind of let it go to seed and you can see it's kind of burned up there. Um, I need to put some more marigolds out here because, and I'm watering this stuff twice a day, but still, it's really hot. <clears throat> That's a little pepper there. I haven't gotten anything off of that. This one has a pepper on it, so I'll have to pick that. Come back out here after I'm done videoing and pick this stuff. And these are just some flower seeds. These are zinnias. These were carrots in these bags, but nothing came up. I put carrot seeds in both, but I think it was already just too hot for them. I planted those about a month and a half ago, and I think it was just already too hot. These are my okra plants, and I've let some of this okra get too big already. And I've pe I picked some, but I need to come out here and cut off the big ones, because once they get too big, they're too tough. You cannot do anything with them. <coughs> but I'll... <coughs> Sorry, y'all. <coughs> it's early morning, and so... Got crud. And then in the back there, there's my purple kale. Here's another one of those t black tomato plants, and you can see just tons of these black tomatoes on them. It just gets so full. So this has been well worth the money for those. And then I'm very excited because I've actually got some squash. We'll see if that one makes it. But this is producing a little bit of squash. I need to spray my neem oil. I see I've got some ants there. And I've been spraying the neem oil on these. And there's another one. See? There's one little squash there. Okay. So that is the actual food garden, vegetable garden. <clears throat> and then I put that gazing ball. That gazing ball used to be over there. And I moved it here. So we'll see if I like it in that spot. Okay, I'm going back out the fence. These are my blueberry bushes. I didn't get any blueberries this year. I saw a few on the bushes and then they were gone. So again, I'm thinking I'm having a bird problem. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for next time. And then this is my cannas. I love these yellow ones and they have really taken off. Um, you just, they come back year after year. So if you like things that you don't have to do a lot with, these are quite happy here. <laughs> and there's just another view of everything we've seen so far. Okay. And then this, I've just planted this this spring. This is a grapevine. And you can see I've got some, but they're just, they're not, oh. I barely touched that and it fell off. They're not ready to be picked. And then there is another little fairy garden, fairy house. That's just another old um, fountain, but it needs a pump and a motor. But I think that's really cute. And then there's more cannas, just a different color. And then this is my solar... Um, fountain. It'll get going here in a little bit. It's really cloudy today, so I don't know how well it's going to do today, but yesterday it was going. And then this is just a pretty little flowering plant that I got in a hanging basket. Oh, my pillow fell, but this is our little fire pit slash seating area. Let me get this picked up. So this... <coughs> <clears throat> this glider here, uh, my sister was getting rid of it, and so she asked me if I wanted it, so I took it, and yesterday I bought these two cushions, and I'm going to get two th more thin cushions to go on the back, but I had those pillows there, so I just kind of threw them up there for now, but it's really neat. Um, we've got stones under it, but it kind of needs to sink down a little bit still, so we'll have to 
dig that out a little bit and move those stones down so that it's not sitting up so high. <clears throat> and then these are some solar lights that I got off of Amazon, you guys. And I love them. You just put them up. Now, the, about the poles separate, but I got them on Amazon too. The poles, they're just, they come in two pieces and you just twist it together. There's no tools necessary. Josie's going crazy over there. And then the lights, they're solar, so you don't have to do anything to them. So I just hung those up. Let me show y'all a view from over here. <clears throat> There's our fire pit, which of course we have not needed recently because it's been pretty hot and humid here. And then I bought this plant yesterday. It was in a hanging basket. I got it from Lowe's and I thought it was pretty. And that blue pot, it doesn't have any holes in the bottom. So I had originally bought it to make a little fountain out of it. Well, I put water in it the other day and water came spilling out these little pinholes in the side. So I'm like, well, I'll just turn it back into what it's meant for, which is to be a planter. And then this is a little cactus that I bought. And I put this out here yesterday. And there's my fern. I was worried about my fern being out here in this direct sun, but I'm keeping it watered twice a day and so far so good. It seems like it's doing okay. And then over here we did, and we're still working on it. This is, I think this is called Vitex. It gets these gorgeous purple blooms on it. They literally just cover it. Now, right now, it's almost done blooming, but it starts blooming in early spring, and this thing just keeps going. So, <clears throat> technically, <clears throat> you can grow it however you want. You can, and this started as a little bitty shrub, little bitty, like a one gallon pot, right? So, I planted this thing a few years back, and it has grown into this. So, you can grow it just like a shrub, like that, or you can cut the bottom part off and grow it like in shape like a tree and I've decided that's what I want so my husband was out here yesterday whacking away at this trying to um, shape it more like a tree and I know it's not really the time to be pruning stuff but it's pretty hardy I don't think we're gonna kill it but the yellow jackets like it the the bees like it so he finally gave up. He was trying not to get stung. So he said, you know what? I will work on that again when it's later in the day. <laughs> and so this over here, that's the path we came down a minute ago. And this is just another little sitting area that I've created here. That umbrella I got at a garage sale. She didn't charge me a lot for it. I think I paid eight. I can't remember. I think I told you guys on another video, but I think it was eight. I bet if I'm wrong, that's my memory. And this is one of the areas where the little bunny likes to go to. So I put, well, I guess he drank that water because I filled that with water. <laughs> Either that or that just seeped out. But I put some water in this old fountain here so he'd have water. But I need to put some clean water in there. Oh, my little fairy sign fell over, I guess, when he was trimming yesterday. So this is just another... Oh, and my little angel, he's turned around wrong. Okay, there we go. Better. So, this is my little pathway that I created. I like little secret garden-like types of things, so I tried to create this little pathway. Well... This poor little old arbor, it is not really strong enough to withhold all of this. So I need to get out here and try to reinforce this thing if I'm gonna try to keep this arbor. So that's just a little birdhouse that somebody gave me. Isn't that cute? Here's another little fairy garden. And there's my little, I'll put you over here and you can see there's a little fairy house. And I had purple basil there, but it did not make it. I don't know what these things are. These were part of when I had a wildflower garden over where that Sultan's Cap is now. Um, these were seeds that were in there, and they just blew kind of everywhere. 
So I left these and my husband wants to see how tall they'll get. So I'm kind of not really liking them there, but he wants to see how tall they will get. So I'm leaving them alone for now. And there's just some more blooms from the Vitex. And then there's another little fairy house. Isn't it cute? Okay, now this is a mess right now, and I've been working on it a little bit at a time, but this is the herb garden. So this is my oregano, and it has taken over the whole place. It's quite happy here. I've got a little bit of rosemary right back there at the back. I used to have a great big rosemary bush back here, but one of the freezes we had two years ago just took it out completely, and it's very hardy. So it was a really bad freeze. And so that rosemary's doing okay. And then this, I just have to keep it under control because it literally will take over this entire thing. And it even, you can see, it will come across the path. It wants to take over the whole yard. So I'm trying to keep this cut back a little bit and I need to do way more. And that's just an old furnace thing that I got at a, at a garage sale and I'm gonna I had painted it like spray painted it purple but over the years it's very faded so I need to get like a can of spray paint and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just leave a lot of the rust but kind of spray paint here and there some red on there and I think that'll make it pop out and look really cute and then also this little pot holder this little girl um, she needs to be rejuvenated she's very faded now too so i'm thinking of maybe doing something with that and then she needs a little pot in here to hold and then you put a plant in there so that's really cute and then this it's supposed to spin but there's no wind out here right now but when it gets windy that spins i got that at hobby lobby so this is just another part of the path this part of the path takes you out to the to the sitting area okay and then see there's a bee busy at work there this morning he's already working oh don't come after me um Josie get out of there so she's over there messing around in my other cannas I don't know if you can see there she is she's pretty good about leaving my plants alone and then this is our um hammock. I was out here yesterday laying out in the hammock. It's very nice. It was really nice because the guys came and mowed yesterday, but I still do the weed eating on the path and in the garden. So uh, we got very hot and everything. So then I just got myself a popsicle. I got on my hammock and it was nice. And then this is my bird area. So I have a bird bath I keep that filled with water for them and then bird feeders and I need to refill both of them and actually I usually put some food up here too but it's pretty much empty holes now too so I need to fill all that back up for my bird friends we get blue jays mainly blue jays and sparrows and a few Orioles and then this area I'm working on it I need to do something with this cute little planter here but I haven't done anything yet but I'm gonna need to fix this see how that got broken I guess it got hung on something but I'm gonna put some plants in that I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or not we'll see I might do a little um, shabby chic looking thing on that and then I planted these irises the other day these two irises and then this plant that I put in this um, old Chimenea, boy, it has really been happy in that spot this year. So, because that's just one little plant that I started out with, and it's just spilling out all over. And this vine here, it just comes back naturally every year, and I really like it. So I just kind of leave it alone. Something, something is happy with it. Something's eating it, <laughs> but it comes back year after year. Now I'm wondering if that might be this here might be a sunflower. Because I did have sunflowers over in this area for a while. And that's obviously not the same thing as that. So we'll see what happens with that. I did get a random sunflower in my 
herb garden last year. It was just the funniest thing. It was just this one sunflower that grew up. And here's Josie on the path. Here's my basil. And more little fairies. You can see there's one. And there's one. And then I'm going to move my my bird here. He's kind of getting hidden by the crepe myrtle. So I need to move him. And my husband said he saw a little frog yesterday, or no, not yesterday, a few days ago. And I'm pretty sure that little frog goes from my fountain to over here, back and forth. I don't remember what this is, but isn't it pretty? I think it's just like a trumpet vine, but I'm gonna, hopefully, I'm gonna try to grow it over. I've been trying and trying to get something to grow over this for the past few years, and it'll do really, really well. And then, the freeze we always get like in February just does a number on it and so I need to try to do a better job of covering you know the died off part um, and hope that it'll come back because that is too pretty and these are my little fake bunnies right here had these forever that lantana that was there two years ago last year I don't remember it coming back and this year it just started popping up so I'm like I'm leaving that alone because I'm happy with that being there this is my new bridge that I got you guys I got this on Amazon and it said no tools required which I'm gonna tell you right now if you order one of these that's a lie <laughs> or they just never have put one together so for the most part you don't need a lot of tools and when it first comes, it was really overwhelming because it was a lot of pieces. But once you start putting it together, it made perfect sense. And it really wasn't that difficult. You put together the two um, rails first. And then there's three leg things that go across. Yeah, that go across this way. And that all gets attached to that. And then these slats, this is where you need the tool because they give you a little wrench for all the bolts and everything. So you don't need a tool for that. Here's where the tool comes in. You see these slats, each one of these has six little screws in it, right? These holes are pre-drilled, but it's getting drilled into a piece of wood that's under here that goes the length of the bridge, right? There's three of them. The holes in that, that it's drilling in, into, there's no pre-drilled holes. So you have to have a drill. There's, I can't imagine trying to do this with just a screwdriver. So it took forever, even with a drill. It wasn't hard. You don't have to drill a hole, but you have to have a drill to put on the screw and then drill it in. And I do, I have a drill, but if you didn't, I, you, there's no way you could put this together. Oh, she caught sight of the bunny, I think, but it's safe, she can't get to it, I don't think. Let me check. Come here, you leave it alone. Come here, uh-uh, no ma'am. You leave it alone. Leave it alone. No ma'am. Come here, come here. It's either the frog or the bunny, y'all, that she's trying to get at. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her. I don't want her hurt any, hurting anything. Leave it alone. No, no, leave it. Come here, leave it, leave it. I'm gonna have to put up some more fencing there. And then this is my other fountain. And I think I need to straighten the little pump in there because it's moving really slow. That usually means the little pump has kind of gotten turned on its side. And so that's pretty much it. I do have a gardenia over here, but it I've gotten a few blooms on it this year, but not a lot. And that's my favorite flower, so. And then here's just another view of everything. And I'm gonna have to stop the video at this point and deal with this little dog because I don't want her hurting any of the little wildlife that lives out here. And she's never hurt anything, but she's never been able to catch anything. So I need to make sure that her record stays perfect. All right. So that's pretty much it. And um, Josie's out here with me right now. Um, I'm trying to make sure she does not get to, I think there's probably two little baby bunnies out here. Uh, they're not itty-bitty, so um, they're smart enough to know 
uh, when they see, you know, us coming outside, they tend to kind of run back into the um, herb garden or up under my, I'm looking over at the bush that they run up under. Um, I don't think Josie could really catch them or do anything, but I just don't want to take a chance. So I'm glad they kind of know to take cover when we come out. Um, but anyway, I haven't been able to get a picture of them or get them on video or anything. They're pretty quick, but they are just so cute. So anyway, um, I'm going to close this video and I hope you enjoyed the garden tour and I hope you got some ideas. And um, if you've got some ideas for things I can do to make things even better, please share down in the comments. And I want to thank you for uh, coming along with me today. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.